I started rapping when I was eight years old and I started making beats shortly thereafter. And um, when I finished high school, I was um, accepted and getting ready to go attend college at Duke University. And my mom said, you better get a job this summer. So I thought, how am I gonna bullshit my way out of this? Um, I wanna do something with music. So I was online and somehow saw the the urban radio station in Detroit was hiring interns. And uh, I applied, I went and did an interview and you know, it was like a line out the door, like around the block, you know, of people who wanted this job and I, I got the job. I don't know why or how, but they hired me. And um, one of my coworkers, Pat, uh, another intern, was um, was Sean's like best friend at the time, and they had a group together. So I met Sean through Pat, and this is the same radio station that Sean got discovered at. That's where he rapped for Kanye West, and Kanye eventually signed him. And so. I, I ended up starting rapping at that radio station too. So that every Friday at the Friday Night Cypher, we would all rap. It'd be the like best up and coming MCs from Detroit would be in that room. They put beats on and you freestyle. Me, Pat, Sean, and like 10 other guys from Detroit. I always thought I was the best, you know? And I probably was the best, you know? It's hip hop, so you know, it's like you're going to win. And, uh, so then when Sean got a record deal, it just, it, it showed me I could actually do this. I was like, what? He, he got signed? He could, oh, I'm definitely going to get signed, you know? That's just going to happen. And it, my whole mindset changed. And um, if it wasn't for him just living his life powerfully like he does, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be, be where I am today.